Right now, let's get back to Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb. You, it's been very busy for you tonight, Chris. It has. We've been tracking these showers and storms moving in from Alabama and into West Georgia. But the good news is as these get closer to Atlanta, they're a lot that. weaker. We still have some rain. We still have some thunder and lightning, but again, not classified as severe storms. In Atlanta, you can see some of these showers pretty much along I-20 and south of that, where we have the rain here. And then you can see the yellow back into parts of Douglas County, South Fulton County, also down in Coweta County. That's where we have some more moderate showers. We have been seeing a little bit of lightning with that, uh, but nothing too strong. We had stronger storms a little bit earlier. Again, as these were coming out of Alabama here in West Georgia, we had warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings for parts of, uh, of Coweta County here, also into areas of Fayette, not Fayette County, but also into Heard County and into Troop County. But as those crossed over 85, they're a lot weaker, and that's the same deal that we're talking about now. Those storms just over the line into Alabama look like they're going to weaken moving in. We'll keep an eye on these uh, in Alexander City, Alabama, near Eclectic and near Auburn. Now, I think those will move toward Auburn as strong storms, but then stay really toward Columbus. So for the rest of the nighttime hours, I'm really thinking we're going to be in a break. Yeah, some rain out there, but not a severe weather threat. But then we have to prepare for round two. This that we're seeing tonight is round one. This is the next round coming in. It's prompting tornado watches in effect. Uh, near Memphis and into northern parts of Mississippi and western parts of Tennessee. That same system will move our way, but it's not going to get here till early in the morning. Now we had that severe thunderstorm watch that earlier did include Harrelson and Carroll County. Those were canceled from the watch uh, much earlier. And then just just before our newscast started at 11, the Weather Service took out Coweta County and also took out Heard County, but still Troop County, Meriwether County, Harris and Talbot County are in that severe thunderstorm watch until midnight. There's that level three risk as that round two moves our way. We're in a level two risk here and then a level one risk over to the east side. So let me show you the timing. This rain that's over us now will weaken as it moves over to the east. We'll have a break for a big part of the overnight hours, and then we're talking four, five, six in the morning. Some of these showers and storms beginning to roll into northwest Georgia and then pushing into the metro Atlanta. A lot of those are showing signs of weakening, too. So Chesley will be here early in the morning. He's going to walk you through that as that next round, round two, approaches during those morning hours. And then once we get to the afternoon hours tomorrow, things are going to be looking better, and we may not even hit 90 again tomorrow with a high of 89 92 Friday still a 40% chance for showers lower rain chances Saturday but it's getting hotter back up to the mid 90s 93 Sunday with a 30% chance for showers lower rain chance Monday mainly dry Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the lower 90s